Yes, sir. 2023. What's my goal for this year? Well, it's get better at dirt biking. So uh, here's a drill that you can do to practice your throttle and clutch control. And uh, if you do any type of hard enduro, this is gonna come in the handy. All right, let's get this going. Okay, well, what you wanna do is find yourself a nice little mound like this. And uh, what we're gonna try to do is go up the mound, stop halfway up, you can actually see my tire tracks. I was doing this earlier on. And um, what we're going to try to do is maintain our bike position without using our brakes. So we're going to be solely relying on our, our uh, clutch and throttle control to keep our bike stationary. And then once we get comfortable doing that, well, we're going to try to move our front end from left to right and maybe just loft it in the air a little bit. So, uh, so... Uh, we could uh, have more control with our bike. So let's get this started. All right, so as you can see, we're keeping a stationary position. We found our engagement point with our clutch. I don't know if you can see that over there. And we're just giving just a little bit of throttle while slipping that clutch to maintain our position. Now, now if we were solely to bring the clutch in and use our front brake, you know, you see what happens there? It's pretty much useless. I guess it keeps your front end straight if you'd like, but it's not keeping you on the uh, on the uh, on the ridge. So you have to put yourself in a hard enduro situation and if you back up you might either fall over and put yourself in the world of trouble or just a tip over on the side of a mountain you know how that is you're wasting energy for nothing so <clears throat> instead of relying on our brakes we're relying on our throttle and clutch control to keep your bike on on uh, the slope once you're comfortable with staying in a stationary position we're going to try to move our front end slightly from left to right and uh, see how that goes. All right, so we're nice and stationary. So we're gonna move, or try to move our front end to the right over here, just like that. Flip the clutch to stay, to stay put. Now we're gonna try to go back left. get a little tricky, especially because it's slippery on the ground. I can't rely on my traction for my feet. So that's no big deal. So what you want to do is, so what you want to do is put a lot of weight on the back of your seat. See, I'm almost on my, my fender here. So the more weight you can put on the back wheel, the better traction you're going to have and the lighter the front end is going to be. So the actual trick on this is to keep the front end as light as possible, but with control at the same time. So you can actually place your front tire where you want. We'll give an example. I want to put my front tire exactly where I put have this brake mark here. Even if it takes two, one, two, or three little hops, that's fine. As long as it's controlled. And eventually we get good enough where we can just hover that front end over the slope at the right angle and get it to where we want. So let's give this a practice. We'll try to do one or two hops to get it over here and then repeat on the other side. So we want to keep as much weight as possible on the rear. Just like that. Now we want to bring it back over there. There you go. And then we'll continue. So 
one thing to mention, well, say you want to go to the right hand side, you want to have your front leg a little bit more forward than your left leg. And, and then once, and then tilt your bike like this a little bit. Tilt your bike towards where you want to turn. Once you get to, I would say, not quite the halfway point, but a little past halfway, you're going to want to lean your bike the opposite way, so probably into the slope, and switch your feet around like this. So you have a good place to to support your bike. So uh, let's give this a try. So I got my, my foot forward, lean the bike, and then switch it over. As you see, as you can see, there's one side that I have an easier time than the other, but that's what practice is for. And that could be due to the slope itself, or just uh, practice, so <clears throat> you can't use the slope as a, uh, as a crutch, because you know how it is when you're on the side of a, a hill or a mountain, you, you don't decide where you can put your feet, so. The best thing is to do is to actually practice in uneven areas. So once you got a gut, you got a down something like that. Well, you can give yourself some obstacles. You can probably put either a root or a branch in the center and, and try to hop over that root or a branch, just like if you were in the wild where there might be a log or rock and you just need to loft your your friend in over. So if this helps, if this could help anybody, if this is interesting, well, please like and subscribe. It helps us a lot with the the YouTube algorithm and it makes us want to make more videos for like this for you guys. Yes sir! Pretty much what you don't want to do. 